Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new Brompton Electrics iOS app. So uh, I stumbled across this yesterday in the UK App Store. Uh, it's about a 35 megabyte download. So uh, I don't know if that's available in other, uh, other regions yet, but it is in the UK App Store. So basically once you've um, downloaded that app, uh, you should be able to connect it to your electric Brompton. However, I think in order to do that, you will need the latest firmware version on your Bompton bike. Um, so that's 1.2.10.2, uh, and that, that will need to be applied by a dealer. So basically, when you start up the app, um, obviously the first time you have to go through uh, a pairing uh, set of steps. So it basically asks you to allow the app access to your location, to Bluetooth, uh, you then log in with uh, a Brompton account. So if you've already got Brompton accounts, which you've registered your bike to, that's nice and simple. Uh, and then it then goes through the pairing steps to actually pair it to your bike. So in order to pair it, you actually have to put the battery on the bike and you actually have to turn it on. Uh, and then it, it found the bike and it paired, no problem. So basically this is the uh, home screen you get once you've set it up. So straight away, uh, it's um, at the top, it's showing the name of the bike, so you can edit that. So I've renamed re mine to Electric 6 for six speed. Um, uh, there's then got a, a place to put a photograph, so you can upload your own, your own custom photograph of your bike. It then shows you the country, uh, current battery level, so 86%. And, and then there's see two buttons at the bottom, my bike and my dashboard. Now, if you swipe one direction on this screen, you can, Add another bike, uh, and actually it does also show you other bikes that you've got registered to account to your account. So if you swap the other way, um, it actually does show me my manual Brompton as well. So again, you can give that a custom name, you can change the photo, but obviously there's no functionality for that. So if I go back to the uh, the main screen, uh, so essentially the first thing you can click on is that uh, blue blue button at the bottom, the dashboard button. And that takes you into this view. So just going down the screen, so you've got the the time shown to you. Uh, you've got the current speed. You've got the uh, sort of a, a battery bar, so that's sort of indicating we're about 80%. And then you've got the current power mode. Um, so the first thing you could do, if you actually click on the power mode at the bottom, you can swipe left and right and actually change the power mode. So I can change it to power mode one, and that that applies it to the battery straight away. Um, so that's nice, sort of simple, basic information. Now at the top right, you've got the button with the triple dots in it. If you tap on that, it changes the view and you get a, a, a dialogue with a bit more information. So as well as speed now, you've got average speed, you've got a trip distance and a trip time. So it's all quite a nice basic functionality that you might want if you had the phone mounted on a, on a mount on the front of your electric Brompton. So if I click the finish button and go back to the dashboard again. So the other button I've got on the screen at the bottom is the my, my bike button. So if I click on my bike, um, it takes you into this dialogue. So first uh, thing it's doing that's quite useful, it's showing you a total mileage that you've done on the bike. So this obviously the bike has been recording distance since I got it. So this hasn't been zeroed at the point of installing the app. It's also been recording distance since I got the bike last October. It's 506 miles. And you've got a little progress button next to that. So if you click that progress button, it gives you this quite a nice little dialogue that you can scroll up and down. And it basically shows you how far you've gone against these kind of milestone distances. So I've done 506 miles. There's a little uh, location symbol on the left. So you can see how I'm clocking up against other, other milestones. That's a nice little dialogue. So if I click the uh, back button and go back to the, um, the, the My Bike dialogue. Uh, so going down, uh, so there's a sort of an inbox functionality, it lets you see messages. Um, I also guess Brompton might use that to send out firmware update requirements, things like that. Stores, um, I'm scrolling down a bit more. OK, so here's the bottom half of the screen. So service, bike info settings. So I'm going to go into the service info dialog first. So if I go into that, it just shows you um, 
a log of service events. So this is my bike went in recently to have the firmware updates applied. So that's that information. So if I click back, go back to the screen again. Uh, so the next dialog to go into is bike settings. So if I drill down into bike settings, um, so here, this is where you can edit the name, you can change the bike image, you can change the units that the app is using. I've got mine set to miles. Um, and you can also adjust the sensitivity for the automatic lights functionality. So that's quite nice. So if you find they're coming on too early when it gets dark, you can desensitize them. So it doesn't adjust the brightness, it's adjusting the sensitivity for the automatic switch on. So if I go back one, back to the screen again, uh, the next menu item down is bike info. So if I drill into bike info, so this has got quite a lot of information. It's got all your sort of serial number, frame number, software version, all that kind of stuff. It's all sort of nice to have, but doesn't really give you much more information than you've already got. But if I scroll down that dialog, uh, you'll see probably the most useful, obviously the bike software version, but at the bottom, it's got the battery information. It's got charge cycles. So showing that as 14 charges for my battery. Um, I don't know if that means if it's been plugged into the charger 14 times, or if that means it's sort of had 14 full life cycles taken off the battery. Uh, I think I have probably charged my battery quite a few more than 14 times. So I think that is probably some record of full lifetime charges. So that's quite, quite nice to know. Um, I don't know what the life is going to be the battery, but this will give you an idea of how you're going against the uh, expected life. Um, and back to the main menu again. So last two menus, you've got help in FAQ. So if we're going to help, it basically uh, opens up a help page on the Brompton website being browsed to from within the app. So that's sort of normal standard stuff that you can get off the Brompton website. Go back again, and then the bottom option, the last option is FAQs. So if I drill into FAQs, again, it takes you to a Brompton web page in the app, standard information. So uh, that is the Brompton app. Hope that helps.